the leader of the free world meets the new fella from down under. Anthony Albanese's first full day as Australia's 31st Prime Minister spent on the world stage, alongside three powers of the Indo-Pacific. Australia's commitment to the Quad has not changed and will not change. And our commitment to ASEAN and its centrality has not changed. A strategic partnership that serves to counter Chinese regional aggression. That's what this is about, democracies versus autocracies, and we have to make sure we deliver. The Quad partners, delighted the new PM, should join them so soon after his election win. Prime Minister Albanese, uh, I welcome you to your first Quad meeting. Like I said, uh, you were sworn in, got in a plane, and uh, if you fall asleep while you're here, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> congratulations on your election. In the US president, the Prime Ministers found a fellow traveller on greater climate action. We will act in recognition that climate change is the main economic and security challenge for the island countries of the Pacific. The brutal assault on Ukraine, ordered by Russia's president, continuing to spark concerns well beyond Eastern Europe. It appears to me that Putin is just trying to ex extinguish a culture. We should never, ever allow a similar incident to happen in the Indo-Pacific. Our mutual trust, our determination, are giving democratic forces a new energy and enthusiasm. A message firmly directed at Beijing, whose mission is to reunite Taiwan with mainland China. Our position is there should be no unilateral change to the status quo. Our position has not changed. Concerns over China's plans in Solomon Islands also discussed just weeks after the signing of a new security pact with Australia's neighbour. How do we engage? How do we make sure uh, that uh, we push our shared values? <laughs> Anthony Albanese's task today was to tell key allies that while there's been a changing of the guard in Australia, his government will continue to be a reliable partner in the pushback against Beijing. Under President Xi, China's become more authoritarian since Labor was last in power nine years ago. The new PM has not only given Quad partners the assurance they want, but by elevating climate action and greater investment in the Indo-Pacific, he's demonstrating how he'll do it. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Tokyo.